Hi guys, in this video tutorial let's quickly talk about the usage of child themes and code modifications within your Premium Press website. So what I want to basically cover here is the question, should I should I not be using child themes? Now before we do that, a child theme is basically an alternative design for your Premium Press website. So in this video tutorial we're going to be using Directory Press. So in this case a child theme would be an alternative Directory Press layout for your Directory website. So basically you'd be just creating an, an extra template that you could then select and use for your directory website. So before we go ahead and think about creating a child theme, we have to ask ourselves whether or not we actually need to use child themes for our website. Some people, if you're going to be creating the website for your own usage and not creating um, a child theme that is sold to a client, can simply customize the website options in the admin area of your premium press website. Things like the background colors, menu colors, items, etc. can all be customized in the admin area of your Premium Press theme under the display settings tab. Now here you can do all sorts of things. Change the layouts, change the column layouts, set up specific colors, upload your logo, favorite icons, etc. And you can also obviously change the, the column widths, um, change the page colors, etc. etc. Another great tool is to remember that all Premium Press themes are all CSS, which means they're basically all styled, um, which allows you to add um, your own styles on top of what we currently have. So for example, you don't have to um, um, create a child theme to do basic styling, such as changing the menu item colors or changing the background colors. We could apply our own CSS in the admin just by clicking this custom styles option and then using custom CSS, such as this one, so we could do style, close the style tag, and we could just change the background color. Body, background is red, and save the changes, and it'll apply it directly to our website. So as you can see now, the background is red. So basically what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that you don't always need to create a child theme to customize the layout of your website. A lot of this can be done using the styling options in the admin area website. And once you've created and customized the style, you can go down to the bottom and use this download styles backup option, which means you can download the styles file here and then pass that on to your client or pass that on and save that for reuse with another website that you might want to set up later. And this does almost the same kind of concept as creating a child theme. In version 6, most of the child themes that I've seen are a lot of people just basically copying files over for the sake of copying it over and then just adding custom CSS. So if you're going to be creating child themes, first ask yourself whether or not you can um, accomplish the same setup by using basic styling. Now just to give you a quick overview, styles are applied after all of the main styles for the themes are applied. So basically it's in a kind of a hierarchy, one, two, three, four order. Um, if we view the code, we can here see here we've got the, the basic styles for the theme, PT1, PT2, PT3, which are loading all of the basic framework files. And then all our additional styling is loaded at the end. So basically all of the custom styling is applied on top of what we have already, which means whenever we make updates, you won't lose any of your styling functionality, which is why using the style options in the admin area of your website is really a great way to make quick customization changes without having to modify any of the core code.